Now that we've had that introduction, let's kick into working some examples here. Our first example is a symmetric section with our neutral axis located right in the middle. And from symmetry, we know that any shear force applied in the x direction here has to be located on that axis of symmetry. So we already know the first coordinate. We're trying to find where the shear center is located. So we're looking for this eccentricity here. We have a C channel that is six inches wide, 10 inches tall, and one inch thick all the way around. We'll be integrating tau over areas to find our answer here. And tau is equal to VQ over IT. We need to start off by finding our I here. So I of this shape will go xx is equal to our base times height cubed over 12 minus this ghosted out rectangle here, which is going to be 5 inches times 8 inches cubed over 12. So I X X is equal to Six point six seven inches to the fourth power. Right. Well, let's plan where we have to go from here. This vertical shear, V, is going to be resisted by a parabolic distribution of shear force over the vertical and the sum of that shear, this tau, integrated over our vertical has to equal v from our sum of our moments, or not moments, sum of forces in the y direction equal to zero tells us that v must necessarily equal the integral over the area tau on that vertical. So we have a couple here. We have a couple v at some e prime, because this is going to be from the midpoint of that section over to v. e is what we're actually looking for, so we will need to know the location of that neutral axis, or the location of the centroid of the shape, and do a little bit of addition at the end. But we will also have, from continuity, we'll have ourselves a little distribution of shear forces along here. Any free edge has to have a zero shear. So this is actually a linear distribution along both of these. And the resultant force, the bottom, resultant force V top must be equal from equal and opposite from our sum of forces in X. V top equals V bottom. One to the right, one to the left. So that gives us a second couple here. Sum of moments z axis equal to zero gives us v times e prime be applied times e prime is equal to we'll grab v top times the distance between which is 10 inches and a one inch thickness so times nine inches e prime is equal to v top times nine inches divided by V applied. 
we need to find V top. V top is going to be the integral of tau over the top area here. So V top is equal to the integral over the area of tau, which is V applied times Q S, and we'll define S in a moment here, divided by I times T D A. We zoom in on just that top piece. We're going to define S as starting at this free boundary and moving inwards. And Q will be based on that section. So Q of S is equal to T times S times, we've got Half of our height, our total height is 10 inches, and we are going up. Our total height is 10 inches, and we're coming down half an inch. So we have five, so 4.5 inches. V top is equal to the integral over the area, V applied times 4.5 inches times T times S over I times T. Those will cancel. DA over our area in question. V applied is a constant. 4.5 inches is a constant. And I is a constant. So we get... V top equal to V applied is 4.5 inches over I, which we could substitute in for. Um, we've got integral from 0 to T, integral from 0 to S of S, D, S, D, T. This outer integral is 0 to t of effectively constant with respect to t, so that's just times t. And the inter inner integral, s ds, is equal to, well, not from 0 to s, from 0 to uh, 6 inches. And this is 0 to 1 inch. The integral of s with respect to s is s squared over 2. So we get v top equals v applied times 4.5 inches times, remember this outer is t, 1 inch, divided by i times s squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 6 inches top is equal to, and we'll sub in the i this time, v applied times 4.5 inches squared, i from up here is 286.67 inches to the fourth power, and that will be times 6 inches squared, 36 square inches, 2 punching into the calculator, V top is equal to 4.5 times 36 divided by 2 divided by our I of 286.67. We get 0 0.283 times V applied. Now we can plug that back into our equation from our equilibrium moments. So E prime is equal to nine inches over V applied times V top, which is 0 0.283 times V applied giving us that E prime, once we cancel our V applieds out here, is just 0.283 times 9. Point, oh, I 
So I have that in the calculator's memory, of course. Times 9. E prime is equal to 2.543 inches. And remember, that's not really what we're looking for here. We're looking for the x coordinate. So we need to know where our centroid of that shape is at. This just becomes simply finding a centroid. Line that up so that we can still see. So that we can still see. Now we need x bar equals, we'll use kind of a quasi coordinate system centered on the bottom left here. So x bar is equal to, as we've been looking at these this way, we'll go. 10 inches minus 1 inch minus 1 inch, so 8 inches times 1 inch of thickness times a half inch up to that centroid, plus 2 times, so we've got two of the same, uh, 1 inch the y direction times 6 inches x direction times 3 inches to the mid height of those sections all divided by 8 times 1 plus 2 times 6 times 1 inch, giving us x bar is equal to 8 times 0.5 plus 2 times 6 times 3 divided by 8 plus 12, x bar occurs at 2 inches, does that make sense, x bar at 2 inches there, suppose it does, 6 by 1, 8 by 1 by a half, 2 times 1 plus 6 plus 3, one times six times three. Yeah, two inches for x bar. So our x coordinate of our shear center here, shear center at negative, because we're to the left of our coordinate system here, negative two inches plus. 2.543 inches so that the shear center is at negative 4.543 inches, 0 inches. And that's that.